everyone, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm going to bring you a video and we're going to be looking at the Star Wars A Solo Story Funko Pops. Funko have released images and product shots and all the new Star Wars um, Pops that are coming out for the upcoming Solo film. So let's take a look through them and we're going to talk about which ones I'm most looking forward to and I want to know which ones you guys are most looking forward to as well. So let's waste no time and let's take a look at the first one. So first up guys we have this Han Solo Funko Pop which is a nice looking Funko to be honest. It's a really cool pose of Han Solo with his classic gun looking really um, cool in his new attire there. We've got him in a brown jacket. Obviously um, young Han Solo. Not going to know much about the character as such so far yet because the film hasn't been released. But as he's the main character it's probably a Funko Pop that I will definitely pick up. And then we have his partner in crime, Chewbacca, wearing some goggles, which I really like. And he's got two belts across him. He normally had the one satchel across him, but now he's got two. And he's holding his gun. And um, I just really like the look of the goggles. And I just like um, Chewbacca. And uh, I think he's a great looking pop. And I think another Chewbacca pop is very well welcomed as a Star Wars fan. And uh, a young Chewbacca nonetheless. Right, and then we have the um, pop here of the lady that plays Daenerys Targaryen in Game of Thrones. I believe that's Kira. Kurai? I don't want to mispronounce the name, so I'll just leave it. But yeah, she. I would like to see what sort of role she plays in the film. I'd like to see the film before I commit to some of these pops to see if I'm going to like the characters. I mean, some of them have black series, as, as you know, if you subscribe to this channel, I do collect those, and I will be picking them up. But it'd be nice to see the characters before I invest in some of these Funko Pops. And then we've got a character here that certainly needs no introduction. It's Lando Calrissian. And I really do like the uh, look of this character. I like that yellow shirt. I like the um, cape on it as well. I just think a young Lando is fantastic. And um, he's played by Donald Glover. So I definitely don't need any reason to pick up this pop. I'm definitely going to get this. Young Lando, that really does look cool for me. And I really hope he nails, um, Donald Glover nails him in the films. And I know he will. And then we have Woody Harrelson's character here as well in just standard Star Wars regalia. And uh, he does really look really cool with that big gun he's holding with the goggles upon his head. I mean, uh, again, I just don't know enough about these characters, but I really do like the look of it. And I definitely think that I would pick this up being Woody Harrelson and all. And then we have another female character here called Val. Um, she looks pretty cool. I like that red they've used for the belts around the, her thighs there. That looks really, really cool. And these, obviously, all these Funko Pops are coming on that standard Star Wars base, which is really nice as well. And um, we'll get to know Val, I suppose, more when we see the movie. But she does look like a really cool character. And I guarantee I'll end up picking all these Pops up because once I see the film, I'll fall in love with it and all these characters. Right now, we've got a new droid here called L3. 37. Now, if there's one thing I love about Star Wars, it's the new droid designs when we get a new film. And L3, L7 does look really cool. I like that green throughout him. He does look really nice. It looks a really solid pop, and I reckon he'll be a solid character. One thing I love about when they bring out a new Star Wars is we get new droids and new troopers. Two things, and alien characters. Three things I really do love about Star Wars. And then speaking of alien characters, guys, we get Rio Durant. Now this is a really cool looking pop. He looks like a little space monkey, to be honest. He's got, um, what's that? He's got four arms there. He's holding a blaster in one. He's got his red goggles on the top as well. I like the colour in front. He's got that turquoisey green coloured uh, suit on with the orange straps. I really like that. He looks like a monkey sort of a weird alien character. I wonder what species he'll be for the Star Wars universe. But he's a pop that looks very interesting in the character I'm keen to meet in the movies. We're getting down to the good stuff now, guys, and here is a range trooper. Another looking stall trooper for these new movies. Now, I really do like this. I like the orange visor on that pure white helmet. He looks, this is the one they have of the Black Series where it's actually fur on the shins and around the collar and on the knee pads. And he's got those big snow boots on. I believe they're snow boots. And it's just a really nice design. And I really like the package art on these as well with the orange Star Wars symbol and the orange logos throughout. I really do like that. Very unique. Normally Star Wars is a red or a black. And I really like the, the um, choice of orange. Now here's another character guy called Ethne's Nest. Now this is a really cool looking character. It, it, it's fun to try to guess what they're going to be in the film. He either looks like a bounty hunter of sorts or a scavenger sort of type leader of a sort of group of people. He's got his staff in his hand there. He's got a very unique, interesting look. And the detail on his torso looks fantastic. And the detail they've put on all his um, outfit there looks really good. And he's got a very unique style helmet as well. And it'll be really cool. That's, that looks like a really cool Funko Pop as well. It's going to be cool to see what part as well he plays in the movie. Right, guys, then we're getting this really other cool looking trooper. It's a mud trooper. Now, this, I believe, is exclusive to the Funko store. Now, this design is 
is fantastic. I love that green. I love the pipes going through his mask as well to help him breathe. That's a really, really nice looking pop. Unfortunately, I doubt I'll have it because it's exclusive to the Funko store. I can't quite make out from this picture how many pieces they're going to be. Maybe 2,000, I'm not too sure. But if you've got the opportunity to snap this up, guys, definitely get it. It's a really cool design. Right guys, and we've got this FYE exclusive, this Dryden Voss. Now I'm not sure if this is the villain, but I assume it is. He's just wearing all black and he's got all those scars over his face as well. I really like the detail they've put into those on his face. And um, they look really good. I think he's got a bit of tape over his head. I like his outfit there. It looks sort of very sinister and black. And he's wearing a red ring by the looks of things. But I'm not sure if he's the villain or the antagonist in this film. But he looks a nice cool pop nonetheless. Exclusive to FYE. Hopefully exclusive somewhere here in the UK. And then that will come out sooner to the time of their release. And then we get this two pack here of Han Solo and Chewbacca. Um, Han Solo looks like he's been through the mill here. He's all battered up. His clothes are dirty. Him and Chewbacca are shackled together by the ankles. His face is all dirty. I believe he tries to join the Empire. And this may be the outcome if he betrays them or something. I'm not too sure. But I really like that Chewbacca. He looks very naked without his um, bags and stuff on and without his gun. And uh, he looks quite sad there with the hair coming across his eyes. And he just looks wet, dirty and dishevelled. I really like this Tupac and I love that double bass with that um, chain linking them by the uh, ankles. I really do like that. This is a Tupac I'm definitely interested to pick up. Because that Tupac looks so nicely detailed with all that wet fur and stuff. And uh, I really like that. And then we've got a Tupac here of two more droids. And they're called Fight Droids. Now these guys are looking really cool. They remind me of that game um, with the two boxing uh, uh, robots punching each other the one in the red looks really nice i love the color on that and all the chains hanging from it and then the other one looks sort of like a gonk droid but more of a um improved version with like a greeny um skin to it this is a two-pack they're the fighting droid so i take it the hand solo is a bit sleazy or maybe then even hang around in lando's casino because we all know lando is a gambler so maybe they bets on these two droids here that's my bet in here and it's a two-pack of those two fighting droids so maybe they have a part a big part to play in this film, I'm not too sure, but I really like the designs of both of these, and these will be only at Target as well. These are Target exclusive two packs, so I don't know what we're going to get here in the UK, but hopefully we will get um, a version of them because they look awesome. And I just like I said, I love droid designs, especially ones that have fashioned off a gonk droid. Right, guys, and here we have a few exclusives that are exclusive to stores in the US. We've got the fight droids that are exclusive to Target, like I said earlier, and we've got that other one there, that character, that's exclusive to FYE. We've got this really cool sort of goblin-y looking character in some armor that's exclusive to Target. Then we've got the Mud Trooper that's one of my favorite designs so far, exclusive to the Funko store. Then we've got Woody Harrelson's character up the top here, exclusive to Walmart. We've got a Flock Chewbacca, which is exclusive to Bock Lunch, which is really, really cool. I've got the old Flock Chewbacca with the Porg in his hand. That is an awesome pop. And we've got a Walgreens exclusive hand Solo, and we've got a Target exclusive hand Solo, where he looks to be wearing a bit of like a fur outfit. And then we've got the best pop of the wave, in my opinion, is that Hot Topic exclusive Lando Calrissian. He just looks so Miami Vice there. Gun strapped to his leg, and those white trousers, white shoes, white cape. Hawaiian flannel shirt on with a loose tie around his neck ready to do some gambling I imagine in his casino. Now guys let me know what you think of these pops and let me know if you're excited for Star Wars A Solo Story and what pops you're excited to pick up from this wave and from this movie. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, smash that like button if you can it would be a great help. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already subscribed to stay up to date with new videos like this. Hit that notification bell, like I said drop me a comment below. And uh, don't forget to enter my competition, guys. I'm giving away a Chase Star Wars Porg. Link's in the description below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Link's below as well. And I'll catch you guys next time. May the force be with you.